Hello and welcome to Starstream Gamer channel. 4-core CPU. A few years ago such a CPU was more than enough for 99% of games. But times changed since then. With the introduction of new APIs such as DX12 and Vulkan, games engines were optimized for multi-threaded CPUs and 4-core CPUs suddenly started to create serious bottleneck in regards of low 1% and 0-1% frame rate values. For now, you need at least 6-core 6-thread or 4-core 8-thread CPU. Additional cores as well as additional threads became indispensable. If you want to get stable frame rates without stutters and especially freezes, of course. So new Intel i3-10100 and AMD Ryzen 3100, 3300X and 3500X provide decent performance in all modern games. But although they produce relatively high frame rates, we can see that 8-threaded CPUs already using all their resources in many AAA games. This makes me think that in 2021 they will become obsolete similarly to their 4-core counterparts. You will need 6-core 12-thread CPU in case you want to get not only high, but also stable frame rates, while 8-core 16-thread CPUs are still a long-term investment. I'm sure even old-timers such as Ryzen 1700 or Xeon E5 2640v3 will be able to provide comfortable experience in any modern games in 2 or even 3 years. As the time comes, games depend more and more on the whole CPU performance, rather than the performance per core. That is the key. Eight relatively weak cores are able to provide stable frame rates in today's modern games and will be able to do this in future games as well. While CPUs with four strong cores easily beat multi-core fellows today, but won't hold up tomorrow as they just do not have enough amount of processing power to handle all the complexity of game's worlds. For now, some games can fully use all 8 threads of 4-core CPUs, while the capacity of 12-threaded CPUs may be used up to 75%, and 16-threaded CPUs can be utilized up to 60%. So I would recommend gamers to choose at least 6-core CPUs with 12 threads, even if it is older generation processors, like AMD Ryzen 5 2600, Intel Xeon E5 2620v3, or engineer versions of i7-8700. If you have 60Hz or 75Hz display, then any of these old CPUs will be a good choice for you. But if you really want to buy a CPU which will hold up for at least 3 years, then you should choose 8-core model. The only reason to consider new expensive CPUs with powerful cores is high refresh rate displays, 90Hz or more. Then, yes, neither of these old 8-core CPUs will be able to provide you with smooth experience. Hope this video was helpful. Let me know how many cores do you think is enough for gaming. Good luck until next time!